Alarming video shows driverless Tesla car cruising down the road the wrong way after being summoned by owner. This is this took place actually in BC, in Richmond, BC. Will you ever been there? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. No. Why are you laughing right now? I is there a video? I just want to. Well, I'm oh, you don't like imagine. all these ads right now? Oh, look at for, this. For, oh, okay, so goodness. for every for everybody look who at this. everyone's this, everyone's always slagging you, goodness. Will, for using uh, ad block. And, this is why. And they're saying, okay, YouTube channel uses ad block. Uh, revenue, losers, we're back on that topic. But look what happens to Will during the show if he tries to load an article. It's At least on YouTube, the advertising is a, a, a little bit more elegant. This is bananas, what he's experiencing right now. And this is dailymail.co.uk. So if you wonder why people are using AdBot, that is a terrifying future, is it not? Oh. I can't even see the article. It's like a quarter of the screen. It's so terrifying that There's if like our future looks images. like that in AR, will in a, that's what our AR vision will look like. Ugh. In order to subsidize our lives, we'll, you will be paid a universal income to just wake up and look at a look at a landscape that looks like that. And they're all different ads too. Like there's no. It's terrifying. It's a terrifying there's no future. Flow. Anyway, uh, footage of a dodgy driving. Of a dodgy, the dodgy. Oh, so there is footage. They say dodgy because it's co.uk. Uh. So dodgy driving was captured in Richmond, British Columbia. It's a Model 3, and it's in a parking lot. It's the summon thing. We've seen it a number of times. We've seen these. Some of these things got scratched, scratched up. Uh, some of them almost hit people. The summon thing turned into a bit of a meme. Uh, you know what is weird, Will? This is the first time out of all these videos where I feel bad for the car. Is that weird? I feel sympathy for the car in this situation. If you oh. see the video, scroll down one more. You can play the video here. I see it going down the wrong side of the street, and I feel kind of like a parent with a child. I feel like, oh, man. I feel like I want to reach out and hold its hand and just show it the right way. It's trying so hard to figure out where to go. And it's getting all screwed up. And there's pedestrians. You see the woman. She doesn't know if she should walk or not across the street. If scroll down to the next one, scroll down one more time. This is the uh, extended section of the thing. It Now it's on the wrong side of the parking garage. And it can't get to the owner who summoned it. And for some reason, for the first time, I feel sympathy for a robotic hmm. car being summoned. Autonomous driving car. I have no idea why. No idea why it hit me today. I've talked about it a number of times. I've seen the thing summoned before moving around parking, lot, parking lots. I had no sympathy. Now, in this moment right here, maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. The way it's just slowly creeping in this parking lot lost. There's so many people around. It's like a lost child. Yeah, it's clearly confused. And uh, it's using its, I guess, neurons to... It doesn't Try have to no. It doesn't have on. neurons. Well. well, in a way, like you know, no, not AI. No, it's not just at all. Trying to no, no, find its no way. neurons there at all. Hate to break it to you, or bits. Or no, I hear you. I whatever. hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But of course, I shouldn't have sympathy for it. If it hits somebody here, they're dead, and it doesn't have feelings, and it's it can be remanufactured, and those humans uh, can't. At least not in their current state. It's uh, these things obviously are not completely ready for prime time which is unfortunate because the future is very exciting uh but somehow it tricks me into feeling sort of sympathetic which is strange i do root for tech i i, I, I root for it in the sense that you see some new super complicated feature like this you see it roll out and it seems so uh, on paper it's such an amazing concept mm -hmm. we're gonna start summoning our vehicles to us, it makes our li lives easier. We, we free up more time to look at screens. <laughs> what are we even advancing towards anymore? I don't know, but nonetheless, uh, it's just another driverless summon story for us to examine. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? Do you get any of that sympathy? In a way, yeah. Mm. You know, especially if it's my car. Be like, hey, man. Like, get it together. <laughs> That's not sympathy, uh, Will. 
have a Snickers. And that's a you got different type of parenting right there. You're cracking the whip over there. <laughs> Get it have, together, car. I have the Tesla on a leash. Yeah, and, you know. that's what it sounds like. Uh, anyway, lots of people. Apparently, I mean, the last tweet from Elon about Smart Summon said that 550,000 people had used it. Mm -hmm. That was on October 2nd. It's obviously way more than that now. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I think we're going to... It's not going to be the last lost Tesla that we see either in the street or on video. That's just the latest. Mm -hmm.